Absolutely, and we've got some great partners in our FFA alumni. Um, we have an anonymous donor from the community who has stepped up with a huge donation of milk. Um, and there's some other businesses that we're working with as well. And um, what we're doing is we have um, so far provided yogurt to go in the school lunches last week. This week we provided 1,400 plus pieces of string cheese for school lunches. Um, in addition, last Friday, we were able to partner and donate 1,200 gallons of milk that were distributed within the Wapan Area School District. Um, and then this week, um, we are also, this Friday, we're going to be giving out 2,000 pounds of cheese and sausage in the community in the same kind of format that we did last week. Why is this important to your farming community as well, to see these products continuing to get to market? Exactly. We, we want to get those products off the shelves. We want to continue to get those products, have room for them on the shelves. Um, the, the, the whole egg community has taken a huge hit, like a lot of other people have. Uh, what we want to do is try to show our support for them. And it, it really is a positive opportunity for our students to demonstrate their leadership and to be able to give back as well. The FFA, as many people know, certainly a student organization, but you mentioned you have some very active alumni as well. Absolutely, they have been critical. And it really, this, this has been um, a really positive project and the opportunity for the two organizations to work together. Because school is closed, we can't have our students physically participating in these events, but um, it's their thoughts, their ideas, and some of their money, frankly, that um, have allowed us to work together uh, to make this possible. 